Hey there roomies, another video for you. I promised earlier on in the week on our Facebook page and our Facebook group that I was going to post a review about the Star Wars Forces of Destiny doll range. Now I have actually done a review on these before. It was actually my first ever video review that I did and I was very very nervous and I kept repeating myself an awful lot so hopefully I don't do a repeat of that. So hopefully this time will be okay. I actually just reviewed one of the dolls um, and since Christmas has come and gone and birthdays have come and gone um, my son seems to have acquired a couple more so I thought I'd review the kind of the lot that we've got at the moment and if we do get any more and if anyone does want me to review any more then I will because I really really like this doll range they're really really cool um, so of course I'm dressed for the occasion Must in the other half Star Wars jumper I did say my Star Wars jumper it's actually the other half so I keep pinching it so um, excuse the sniffles by the way um, hopefully the lighting's okay and hopefully you can hear me okay I'm actually recording for a change instead of going live on my other half's webcam on his laptop so you probably will hear the odd noise in the background for example the fan on the laptop unfortunately is incredibly loud despite the fact that I've altered the settings a million times <laughs> sorry but yeah so unfortunately you probably will hear that the fan if I can try and cut it out a bit I will but, if, but apologies otherwise if you hear any random noises in the background, it's because I have a very, very lively kitten at home at the moment. She's kind of driving me nuts. She's beautiful and she's lovely, but she's so, so mischievous. So if you hear any noise in the background and you see me having to get up quickly to move her, that, that will be why. So let's get on to it. So for those of you that don't know what Force of Destiny is, it's actually a web series based on on YouTube um, that features the the kind of the background and the exploration of the strong female lead characters so f usually in the Star Wars films like I said it's it's got a very huge male fan base um, obviously obviously they do have a, like a female fan, ba fan base too but they do have a big male fan base so I think this is to kind of appeal to maybe some women teenagers but mostly I would have thought it's to young young girls so I'm just going to read out the official description of the web series and the range quickly for you. So I'm just going to look at my phone for this. It says, A galaxy far, far away brings loyal viewers Star Wars Forces of Destiny. Off of Disney's YouTube channel. The main focus will be some of the Star Wars most inspiring and beloved characters. Join Princess Leia, Rey, Ahsoka Tano, Jin Erso and other strong female characters. The series explores different eras and will showcase the, how each other's characters' decisions affect their destiny. These are all. These and oh, I really can't read this wrong. So sorry, it's really badly written. These are an all-new series of animated shorts and explores characters' adventures, choices, both big and small, will shape the destinies of these beloved characters. So that's basically what Force of Destiny is about. So, like I said, it does feature the female characters which is actually quite nice for a change and I don't think that a lot of them get the recognition that recognition they deserve I think um, Princess Leia obviously is a big big Star Wars character and now so is Rey um, the others not so much there's not a lot of focus on the others so like Padme, Jinna so obviously Janessa got her own film in Rogue One and we got to see her there but I don't think she's as well marketed as the rest of them for example so yeah, let's get into this a bit. So there's been a couple of different waves of these. Sorry, it's my air freshening. You can probably hear going off. <coughs> there's been a couple of different waves of these characters come out. Um, the first lot actually included two versions of Rey, two versions of Princess Leia. They also had Sabine from Star Wars Rebels. Again, another fo character that's not focused on that well. So it's quite nice to see her brought to the front. Um, Jin Erso. And I think that was about it for the first wave. If I've forgotten any, feel free to correct me. Um, shortly after, they brought out a new wave of characters as well. Um, shortly after that, there was basically... Who else did they release? They released Asaka Tano, if I've said that right. They have also released Padme Amidala, which is another one of my personal favourites. I don't think gets enough recognition either. Um, obviously, being the mother of Luke Skywalker, I think it's quite a shame that she doesn't get a lot of recognition. So it's quite nice that she's got her own doll and she's got her own um, story in this web series as well. Um, who else have they brought out doll-wise? They've also brought out Kylo Ren. They've brought out basically a Kylo Ren and Rey 
double pack which I thought was really really cool unfortunately the doll does not look anything like Kylo Ren nothing like him at all so Adam Driver that's the one there's not anything like Adam Driver but some of these dolls don't necessarily look like their actor counterparts they are designed to look completely different um, and then the last wave that came out I believe they brought out Luke Luke Skywalker and Chewbacca so let's get into it I'll show you the ones I've got in a second I just want to do a quick comparison quickly as well so I will start with one that I actually reviewed first in my previous video that I did like this and I will talk about Ray. so I here have hopefully you can see her okay this is Resistance Ray. so this is her second costume change so to speak in The Force Awakens when she becomes part of the Resistance okay as you can see she's holding her blue lightsaber or should I say Luke Anakin's blue lightsaber she's got her signature three buns in her hair which are done very very nicely actually and they're quite secure they're quite nice she's also got a lovely lot of detail on her face and hopefully the camera will pick it up I don't know if you can see it but she's got the most lovely little freckles on her face just up here and her eyebrows look really detailed too I think this look quite a bit like Daisy Ridley it's not amazing likeness but it is quite a bit like her and I say this because my son actually has the Hasbro 12 inch action figures as well and he was an avid Ray fan when The Force Awakens came out bearing in mind he's only four at the moment um, we are avid Star Wars fans in this house anyway but obviously I don't let him watch the scary bits so obviously we just kind of skip past those bits and then let him watch the bits with Ray and BB-8 because they're his favourite so as we're saying this is the Hasbro 12 inch figure they're pretty much the same sort of size but if you look a bit closer hopefully you can see it let me just turn the brightness of my screen down a bit da, 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 da. let's change that to that and then hopefully you can see them a bit better see I feel that this version the Hasbro version of Ray is pretty scary looking whereas this one's quite sweet and cute Obviously that is the idea behind these Force of Destiny songs, they are quite a cute little range, they're very sweet. So um, that's the difference, and like that, these are far better quality for a start. Um, they're jointed, these just have their arms and legs move, that's it. And they're pretty cheap plastic, and they're not cheap these are, some of them are about £14. Um, I think my son got this really cheap, some birthday money last year. Um, but yeah, just, just to show the variation and the quality and what they look like compared to each other. So yeah, as I say, this is Ray. This is the one I reviewed before. So she's got a lovely buns in her hair. She's got a lovely little um, vinyl flexible outfit. Well, her, her skirt is anyway. I believe her skirt can actually be removed as well. I've not tried it because I don't want to actually wreck her. Um, but she's also got a, a fabric waistcoat, which is really nice in like a beigey grey colour. She's also got her armbands here. Armbands or should I say arm um, bandages is probably more of the right word so there are those again all removable should you want to remove them as you can see her joints are in there if I can get them uncovered there's her joints sorry if this is lagging a bit hopefully it's not um, she also comes with a little pist uh, blaster in her holster which is there as I said she's fully jointed although they're quite stiff these dolls did you hear the click? Did you hear how hard it was for me to get her to click? Yeah? Her boots are also removable. There's quite a lot of detail on her boots, which I think really nice. They're kind of like Ugg style boots. Sorry, they had to put the cat down. So they're really nice. I like them. The trousers are just plastic moulding. They're not actually, the none of them, they don't actually come off. They're actually part of her. Um, these are not Barbie dolls. These are not like the kind of Mattel Barbie dolls they're called action dolls the idea behind the action dolls is that they actually have an action um, most of them I believe not all of them but most of them have the same action where you squeeze their legs and they swing their arm I don't know how you work and see that because Ray doesn't always work see she swings her lightsaber which is it's pretty cool it's a pretty nifty idea the idea is though it's easy for children just to do that but then again children are doing it, look, it's not actually working you actually need to use her legs like a pair of scissors so yeah, briefly, that's Ray and she also comes with a little BB-8 resistance Ray comes with a little BB-8 let's just put Ray down for a second and focus on BB-8 for a minute 
he's got quite a lot of detail which is really really nice his head turns around but it only goes left and right it doesn't move forward and backwards his little antennae there are quite cool but they're quite detailed actually but they're very very flimsy hopefully I don't break them while I'm actually showing you on camera so I really like BB-8 and as like I said, there's a lot of detail on him the only thing I do not like about BB-8 is the fact that I personally feel like he's really cheaply made he's a, he's, to me he's like an to me he's like an oversized ping pong ball I mean the size is great of him and the detail is great of him but he's really really cheaply made he's got really thin plastic I don't think you can squish it like you probably could a ping pong ball actually you can't squeeze it but it is very thin plastic and not only that I was really gutted that he doesn't say anything I know it's not advertised as that but they, that's one thing they could have done to make this a lot better they could have made him speak even with one little button or one little um, motion sensor or something just to make him say even one phrase would be quite good that'd be really really nice um, and it's a shame he's not an actual rollable but the idea is he's meant to just perch if I can get him to next to Ray and like I said the size ratio is quite good he's actually quite good for size too so that's those ones um, let's come over here and I've just dropped BB-8 on the floor um, again at the first wave we also had the infamous Princess Leia so this is her in her white kind of battle gear outfit I'm hoping I might have to change the colour of my screen again so you can see her outfit a bit better because she's white so she's all dressed in white she's got a little bun at the back and she's got a signature plait or braid whichever one you want to use I got told off the other day for well, my sister for saying braid because I'm English and American um, so yeah she's got a lot again like Ray she's got a lovely little fabric waistcoat which is really sweet she's got some really good detail on her arm and I really don't think the camera's going to pick it up oh there you go it's like a little um, communication pad on her arm which is really cool that little silver like I said she's all in white she is plastically moulded plastic moulded just like Ray is her boots are pretty cool too but they again like Ray's they are removable I will show you really quickly if I can they're a bit awkward to get off there you go once her shoes are off she kind of looks like she's got yoga pants on like workout trousers it's quite funny actually so yeah they come off um, she also comes with a little blaster which is really really quite cool if I can try and get to hold that would be great again she is an action doll so if you squeeze her legs she will aim and shoot her blaster you see her moving there which is quite good. Again, she's got quite good detail on her face. She has not got freckles. Well, I don't feel she looks like Carrie Fisher. But she, she is very cute and she and her hair is done very, very nicely. It does look really good. Really, really good. I do like this one. The only issue I've got with these, because the action dolls, they don't stand properly because they've got really wide legs because they have to be because of the action movement. They actually stand like this and they don't always stand up that well I'm saying that but I'm balancing on my hand right now total liar obviously and um, yeah she also comes with a pretty cool sized R2D2 2 R2D2 2 <laughs> yeah she comes with R2D2 again like BB-8 he's really really cool lots of lovely colours and details on him that you'd expect to find and he does move you can move him you can move the arms one at a time as well and his head turns too one big fault with this though there's no front wheel there's no front wheel how is he meant to walk without his balancing front wheel or like this do you see what I mean Star Wars fans will know what I'm talking about he hasn't got his third wheel or limb so which is a bit of a shame and again like BB-8 it would be really nice if there was a light or a bit of sound that make it perfect especially when these first came out they were really really expensive they were kind of around 25 to 30 pounds and I'm pretty sure Leia was around 30 pounds so this layer was so again like Ray they're in good size good proportion size which is really really cool so I do like this set and Princess Leia is a really good one Ali said she's currently now a favourite of my son's he calls her Raya not Leia he can't say L's properly so um, he calls her Princess Raya which is quite sweet 
Um, again, in the first wave, they also brought out another version of Princess Leia, which is Leia of Endor. So this is from Return of the Jedi, I believe. I hope I'm right. Little half won't be very happy with me if I'm not right. Um, this was quite a deluxe pack. Now the packs they actually come in are really nice. They're kind of box this sort of size. They're really really nice. They've got bright orange and purple packaging. It's really really nice packaging. The only thing is that they are well packaged. You have to literally cut them out of the packaging. Um, the one issue I have is that with their hair, they've got like little. You know the tags you get on your clothing. The little um, T-shaped tags you get on your clothing. They have them in their hair attached to the plastic packaging. So you have to cut them. You have to be so careful not to cut strands of their hair as well. That's one complaint I have, although it's very good to me no one can steal it. So, as I was saying, this is another version of Princess Leia. This is Princess Leia of Endor. I love, love, love her outfit. It's very accurate. I do like it. She's got her utility belt here, plastic utility belt, and a blaster there, which does, which you can remove, which I really like, but I've just left it on next thing it looks better. Um, she's got a little hood on her outfit there too. As you can see her hair is really nice. Very similar to the other one but she's got a slightly smaller braid up here and a bigger bun bra uh, braid hair plait. Whatever it is. I'm going to get told off by my sister for saying that. Um, she's got light blue trousers on, little fabric ones with a gold stripe down the side. And she's got really cool kind of high boots there. They're really nice. Really nice. Again, the boots come off. There's like a little gap at the back, so the boots can come off. Um, the only difference with this one is this version of Leia is actually like your typical Barbie doll. She's not an action doll. So she's jointed in all the same places. Um, the others bit on there aren't. Their wrists are jointed as well, by the way. So I wouldn't advise them for small children just in case the hands come off. You know, the old Bratz dolls used to be. Head moves as well. She's fully jointed. She can sit down. She's fully, fully jointed. Um, and what was so deluxe about her kit is that one, not only because she's not an action doll, she's an actual posable doll, she also comes with a helmet, which is really, really cool. I love the detail on this helmet because it's got all the scuff marks and stuff on it. Hopefully you can see that. It's really, really good. However, I have one issue with this helmet. It looks awesome and automatically my son went to put it on her head which is what you would do when they come with a helmet but this is the problem that I have and I will show you I will just tilt the screen down a little bit so you can see so you can see Leia there with her helmet on it does not fit on her head it doesn't fit it's really really irritating because her bun is too high at the back it's far too high of her head at the back for the actual helmet to go on properly. You can just balance it on the top, but it looks a bit silly. And it has a clasp for you to do it up. I don't know how you're supposed to, be able to do it up if you cannot get it on her head. <clears throat> just do a close up there for you. It's really, really badly designed. And again, when this one came out, it was the most expensive of the range. <clears throat> Sorry. It was the most expensive at the time. Yeah, it just doesn't go on properly. If you push it down, it looks all right, but it really doesn't go on properly. Um, yeah, at the time of release, this was uh, thirty-five to forty pounds in a lot of places. I know that when Toys R Us was still going, they were selling it up to thirty-eight, forty pounds at one point, which I think was absolutely ridiculous. But like I said, this is part of the deluxe set, so I can understand why they got the price off for that. But yeah, this is really annoying that the helmet actually does not fit on her. On the packaging, she's actually advertised as holding it under her arm, like that. Yet you can't actually get her to hold it, which is quite annoying. She doesn't actually hold it at all. I don't, at least I don't think so. I have tried. No. It's now on the floor, so she doesn't hold it. So that's her helmet that comes with her. She also comes with a change of clothes, which are really cool. So this is the dress that she's seen wearing at the end of the film of Return of the Jedi. It's really, really sweet. It's got lovely details on it, but they're just printed, they're not embroidered on. It's actually still on the cardboard that came in the box, I've kept it on there so that my son doesn't wreck it. And it's basically just a velcro up back. So you can undress her by taking, I'm doing a little clasp here, and then taking her clothes off. And then you can put this one on, which is really nice. 
She also comes with an adorable little pair of sandals to go with her dress. If you can see them there. They are really cute. Really, really cute. Um, so that's her second outfit, which is oh, wrong way around. So that's really, really sweet. I do like that one a lot. And um, personally, the best part of this deluxe pack with um, Princess Leia in, she actually comes with a little flocked wicket. How absolutely awesome is this? I know Ray's come with BB-8, and I know that the other layer came with RTU 2 but it doesn't top Wicket. He's really, really awesome. And he's all velvety because he's flocked. So this is kind of a vinyl. I think you probably could take that off, but it's a bit difficult, so I'm not going to do it. He's poseable. You can sit down as well. He's really, really good. I do like him a lot. I'll try and put him a bit closer so you can see his how velvety he is. The detail on his face is pretty good as well. So I can have a cat bow on that ground. And Wicket also comes with a bow and arrow. So you can actually put them in his hand, but I've not been able to do it yet because they're quite fiddly. There you go. There's his bow, and there's a little arrow. The only issue is I had with the arrow, it was a really well packaged, so I accidentally almost broke this arrow trying to get it out of the packaging. But it looks really, really good. I mean, that's better than any of the action figures that they've released of Wicket. I really, really like this. It's such a good idea. And my son loves it, like I said, because it's all furry. And it looks like a cute little teddy bear, as everybody likes the Ewoks to look like. And he's a good size. You can see by the size of my hand. Whoops. And you dropped him. He's a really good size. He's probably about three, three and a half inches tall. Let's put him next to Leia, just to compare. Mm -hmm in the air freshener so yeah he's really really cool so by far in that in that deluxe pack he's the best part about that pack I really really like him but still 40 pound price tag I don't think so but when my son bought him with his Christmas money just gone he actually got this pack for 15 pound so you can actually get it and that was TK Maxx you can actually get this pack between 10 and 15 pound now which I think is an absolute bargain so that's really really good I do love that set Let's move on quickly because I've actually had this video far too long now. Um, now, these are the newer ones that have been released. These are the male characters that feature in the show. I don't think, I mean, I haven't actually watched the web series fully, but I don't think they feature as much, obviously, as the, the female characters. Um, let's start with this one. We have Luke Skywalker. Oh my goodness, it's Luke Skywalker. He is an action doll. He does the same. He comes with a blaster that's already in his little holster. And he also comes with blue lightsaber, just like Ray does. So you can change the blaster for his lightsaber. And it's not going to work for me. He's kind of a bit fiddly though, especially for children. Change for his lightsaber and swing away, Luke. Again, like Ray, very temperamental. But that's really, really quite cool. Let's look at his face in a bit more detail. I'm just going to remove the lights from his hand. To me, that's not the best face they could have gone with for this doll. He looks a little bit eerie. The hair looks really good. I like the fact it's got plastic hair, not um, actual kind of hair fibres or synthetic hair fibres, because that way it won't get messed up. I love the hair and the colour is really good. It looks so much like Mark Hamill's hair. So you see his uh, his typical beige outfit there as well. Um, and also you've got Velcro down here. Oh yeah, by the way, this is not embroidered on. This is printed on all the pattern on his coat. You can actually undo that. And you've got his vest there. So it's basically him from the scene where he's carrying Yoda in Dagobah. Which is really, really cool. Um, where is it one second? I'll have to find it in a minute because there is something else I want to show you. So yeah, that's really, really cool. So you can take this off and you can just have him walk around in his in his vest. He's like I said, he's got his utility belt just like the other Ray. Uh, Ray. Leia has his holster there, attached to his legs. He's got the same shoes as uh, Leia did, but in different colour. Again, they come off. Like the rest of the action dolls, his trousers are actually moulded. 
to his leg. I really thought, again, he's fully jointed too. That's a really good size, that is. I do like him. And I will try and find it for you. One second. There is a really cool accessory that comes with him, and it's really cool. So bear me a second. And that accessory is Yoda. Oh my goodness, how cool is Yoda? Right, let's compare him to Wicket. <clears throat> Same sort of size, except Yoda is all plastic, apart from his little coat. His little Jedi robe, should I say. Little hunched over Yoda, he's so, so good. Really, really sweet. The only issue is I think he should have had furry hair. Like Luke, he's got plastic hair. He should have had furry hair or actual hair strands would have looked better. And this is like a clear elastic going around his waist. I don't know if you can see it in the light there. Holding on his Jedi robes, which I think is really good. You can tell it, but I'd rather not. And like Wicket, he's uh, posable as well. I absolutely love this little toy. He's very, very cute. So like I said, that's clearly the Dagobah set. So you've got Luke and Yoda. I'll get out of the way so you can see them more than me. They are so, so good. I do like them a lot. Really, really good. Um, again, this one's an offer, this set as well. Um, I don't know how much it was when it first came, but it wasn't a cheap one, again, like I said with the other ones. But when I bought this for Christmas, it was £8.10 via the entertainer from Amazon. So I think that was an absolute bargain too. So that was really, really good. These are really dropped in price. So if you do like these, then um, go and have a look at them now for your children. Um, last one I've got for you to show is a really, really different one. I'm so glad they bought it out. I'm so glad they bought it out. It's not an action doll. It's like it's another doll, but it's not an action doll. It's just a normal poseable doll. But here we have Chewbacca. Look at Chewie. Fully furry chewy. How cool is this Wookie? So he's got his signature bag here. He's fully posable. If I can get him to move. There you go. Fully posable. The face is a little bit scary. I'll admit, but it's all slicked back just like Chewie, and he's quite cuddly as well. I mean, he's got a solid body with like a fairy coating, uh, like an overlay, but he's quite snuggly and the best thing about this, by the way, I'll show you in a second, actually, because he also comes with his crossbow, it's a decent size too, so he can hold that, just there, I'm having a great time playing with these, these are like my son's favourite things to play with at the moment, so he can just hold his crossbow, like that, which is really cool, nice, it's a really big size. But, as I was saying just now, the best thing about this Chewbacca toy is this. <gasps> How cool is that that he talks? Chewbacca actually talks. Three. I think he's got just the four different sounds. But how good is that that he can talk? It's really, really cool. And like I said, he's and and he's quite bigger. Sorry, he's quite a bit bigger than the other dolls. So I'll put him next to Luke, and I'll show him a size comparison. Can you see how much taller he is than Luke? It's quite good that they've actually done that. They haven't just made him the same size. I'm really glad they've made him a bit bigger. And again, he was really cheap at the moment as well. He was really expensive when he first came out, and I managed to get him for eight ninety nine in Home Bargains. Home Bargains have got a lot of these at the moment. If you live in the UK, Home Bargains have got a lot of these at the moment. So if you've got one near you, then it's definitely a place to check out for Star Wars stuff because they've always got loads of Star Wars stuff. But yeah, so I, I just can't get over how cool that is that he speaks. The only thing is, I don't know how you... Ch oh, actually. Sorry, I pressed the back thing. I was about to say, I don't know how you change his batteries, but he's actually... I've got Velcro there. I've just noticed that. See, that's his inner shell. That's what he looks like when his fur is off. So you can just change his batteries there. It looks like one AAA battery, or maybe some LR44s. I didn't notice that until just now, so that's quite good. Oh, that's him again. But how good is he? The only thing is his bag does keep slipping off, and his hair does uh, get a bit matted. But he is really, really good. I do like him. He's probably one of the better ones. 
Can I just say as well, Forces of Destiny, whoever, I can't remember who makes them. I can't remember who makes off the top of my head. But I'm begging you, can you please, please, please make Han Solo for Chewie, please? Can we please have a Han Solo? I don't know if he's actually featured in the series as yet, so maybe that's not they've not brought him out yet. But I can't imagine Han, uh, Chewie would feature without Han Solo. So can you please, 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 please bring out Han Solo because that would be really, really good to add to this collection. And if you do, I will review it happily. Definitely happily review it for you. So, um, yeah, like I said, there's quite a few more of the range to um, to go through as well. We don't actually have, like I said, there's Ahsoka from Star Wars Rebels. No, Star Wars The Clone Wars, I think. And there's Sabine from Star Wars Rebels. There's Padme Amidala. Padme Amidala is really, really good. She looks really cool. Um, who else is there? Jinna. So Jinna says we're the one that's least appealing to me personally because she's got like the hood on her as well, but it's all like a vinyl. It doesn't look quite right. Um, and she looks very, very cheap, uh, cheap compared to the others. She's all pretty much all plastic. So Jin Erso is probably the one that's least appealing to us, although my son likes Jin Erso for some reason, even though he's not seen Rogue One. He just likes the Jin Erso toys. So yeah, Jin Erso is probably the least appealing to me personally. But like I said, Kylo Ren would be a nice one to get. be quite a good one to get to go along with Rey. Um, and like I said, there's also another version of Rey, which is Rey of Jakku. She comes with her long staff slash stick with that. That's quite cool. Um, I can't remember if she comes with... No, I don't think she does. I don't think she does come with like the headscarf that she comes with. She's basically in, in this outfit, pretty much. Um, the other Ray of, Ray of Resistance, Ray of Jackie. So, this has actually been a half an hour video. I thought I'd be doing this really quickly. But um, I've actually gone on far, far too long. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. If anyone's got any questions about any of these amazing dolls, then I'm happy to answer them for you. I'm happy to look at them for you and find out things for you. They are really, really lovely. I really do like this range. Now I'll just hold them up all for you one more time if I can get it in my hand. And I've just got layers to get. So that is them all there. They're the ones that we have. Really, really like those. And not forgetting, oh, <laughs> not forgetting the sidekicks, the two droids. BB-8 and R2-D2 and Jedi Master Yoda and Ewok Wicket they're really really good so yeah that's enough for me I think this video has been far too long as it is hope everyone's having a nice day thank you for watching and it's a uh, bye from us <laughs>